students, the chapter is Basic Concepts of Economics. Now, Basic Concepts of Economics, this is a very vital chapter because in this subject there are so many concepts which you need not only in class 11, 11, 12 and in your future when you face this subject, when you will be having this subject, these concepts will be necessary, will be there involved in the curriculum. So this chapter is basic concepts of economics. I'll start with the first concept which is wants, W-A-N-T-S, singular want, plural wants. What is human want? Want is an effective desire. Want is an effective desire. When the desire or the wish to have something is backed by, supported by the required purchasing power, the willingness to have it, and the required efforts are given to get it, then we call it want. This is human want. Now, regarding wants, there are uh, some subtopics like classification of human wants classification of human wants human wants can be classified broadly into two categories primary wants and secondary wants first primary wants this primary wants are basically the necessities of life the necessities of life which we need to survive which we need to survive actually here also in case of primary ones there can be two uh, subcategories one type of primary ones means the bare necessities of life which we need to survive that is food clothing and shelter roti kapra or makan food clothing and shelter without these we cannot survive and the other subcategory of primary ones, these are also necessities, but these necessities are to make us efficient enough to walk. Like good food, balanced diet, balanced diet. Uh, like walking efficiently, I need a chair. See, I need a chair. Then these are some necessities which will make us more efficient though we may not consider the chair as a necessity but in one sense we can i said about balanced diet balanced diet is very much essential for a walker to walk efficiently so this is also primary wants thus i've told i've spoken about uh, primary wants now i come to the second category which is secondary wants secondary wants these come after the primary ones. These are not so essential in life to survive. Therefore, these are called secondary. Now, these secondary ones also, there, there are two subcategories. There are two subcategories. One, ones for comfort and two, ones for luxuries. First, ones for comfort. Comfort is not necessary to be uh, to, to leave to survive for our subsistence no this is something more than that we are living in more comfort then what those things are which we want for more comfort like sofa set yes the chair or the desks and the benches in your school classroom the fan these are goods of comfort and we want these for more comfortable life leading if i don't have this fan can't i survive yes i can i can but it will be a little difficulty i'll sweat i'll not feel comfortable but when i have this fan then i'm feeling comfortable so this is once for comfort now I come to the last, that is, subcategory, second subcategory of secondary ones, 
and that is one's for luxuries l-u-x-u-r-i-e-s luxury luxuries basically these luxury goods are wanted by people to show off to show off their wealth to show off their financial status that they are rich yes like uh, once for uh, expensive cars once for one for uh, expensive jewelry or ornaments even want for air conditioners these yes actually uh, people want to show off to others that I'm rich I'll give you uh, very practical examples in this regard like uh, a person who has to ride a car drive a car from his residence or home to his workplace he can buy a Maruti Suzuki a very low priced car the low level the base level but he want but he wants and he buys a BMW that's an expensive one there can be more expensive cars now when he when he buys that and he uses that he rides that he drives that this is just showing off to others that I'm rich okay uh, I'll tell you something about uh, some other people like uh, expensive jewelry expensive ornaments even men do even men do uh, not only women even men do like uh, uh, a person like Salman Khan he wears a bracelet here and that's a platinum platinum is more expensive than gold now I've, I've watched this man I'm very fond of this man now when this man uh, uh, comes in the TV television in Big Boss and some other shows he often does like this he often does actually when he does like this the bracelet comes here and we the viewers we can see it's a platinum bracelet it's so expensive so it's it's reflected to us that he is very rich Another man, Bappi Lahiri. I hope many of you know this man, Bappi Lahiri. He's a very renowned musician and uh, music director from Bengal and he has become very famous in Mumbai. Now, he has a very uh, high inclination towards gold chains. Now, he wears gold chains here. Now, often I have watched this man wearing so many gold chains here outside the call outside the court basically uh, this man he is very rich enormously rich now when he when he does that when he wears those chains gold thick chains actually that's a luxury so he's it's he's showing off to others that his popularity is so rich okay so these are examples which show yes believe me when i have installed the ac in my house in my room then i was asking my neighbor uh, that uh, when you installed uh, the external unit where you place outside the window or in the terrace where actually there was no need i asked the neighbor just to show off i'm also buying an ac so these things reflect that yes these are ones for come uh, luxuries and that's a that's a mean to show off that I'm rich like this anyway that's that's uh, about human ones classification and now I come to the next topic about ones which is features of human ones very interesting I hope uh, you are finding this chapter to be interesting uh, the next chapter the next topic is features of human ones the first feature is Human wants are unlimited. That's very true. Human wants are unlimited, limitless, endless. The more we get, the more we want. Right from the birth of a baby, the wants start. And it goes on increasing, multiplying. We want more and more. With age, it increases. With scientific and technological development, it increases. And the wants, all those wants end at the time of death of the person. So, we say, yes, wants are unlimited. 
wants are limitless it goes on multiplying it goes on increasing okay the first feature wants are unlimited second feature wants are complementary some wants some wants are complementary now when do we say wants are complementary when we want two goods together simultaneously jointly simultaneously or jointly that means if one good is wanted the other good must be wanted the two goods have to be used together one good cannot be used without the other now here the examples can be car and tires car and fuel like petrol diesel pen and ink blackboard and chalk these can be examples now i've heard people saying uh, bread and butter please don't give examples please don't give this example bread and butter bread and butter cannot be an example because i um, i have personally objection to this because it is not obvious that bread and butter have to be used together bread can be used with jelly with jam with cheese and many other things so it's not obvious that bread has to be used with uh, butter anyway this is another feature of human wants that wants are complementary next substitution of wants or we can say substitutability of wants or substitution of wants this is another one in which we find one goods want the one for one good can replace can substitute the one for another good tea and coffee thumbs up and pepsi spectacles and contact lens these are examples where uh, the one for one good can replace can substitute the one for another good okay this is another feature the third feature i have discussed fourth one wants are competitive wants are competitive it is very true it happens often often it happens that at a time at a moment many wants several wants arise together and as if to the person concerned to the person concerned all those wants are competing with each other and those wants are saying it to me to the, to the person concerned that fulfill me fulfill me uh then it's the person concerned that person has to decide which one i will prefer which one i will choose so wants are competitive it happens sometimes it happens suppose at a moment i have uh, with me in my pocket rupees 3 to 4000 and i am in esplanade or park street area uh, and in kolkata and uh, one want arises that i can enter into a restaurant and have some food another want arises that i can use that money to uh, buy some uh, one or two garments another want arises that i can use that money to enter into a movie hall and watch a movie and have some food there uh, so these depict that yes see already i've told about three wants so three wants are competing with each other and telling it to me fulfill me then they're competing and i am to decide which one i will choose so once are competitive uh the next one i have already told uh, while discussing the first point once multiply once increase with age once increase uh, with scientific and technological development like when you were a child of nursery class or kg class there at that point of time your number of once and today when you are in class 11 uh, or or 12 or at this age your number of ones is something more uh, different so ones multiply next one next one is uh, ones recur the next feature is ones recur r e c u r uh, recur means repeat recur means repeat some ones repeat not all ones some ones repeat like hunger the one for food repeats in a day the one for water thirst the one for water repeats in a day but see all ones cannot repeat all ones do not repeat some ones repeat next or the last one a single want a particular want can be satisfied a particular want can be satisfied uh like i've told many ones are rising together then the person concerned chooses one that means one particular want i can choose and i can fulfill i can satisfy that okay it's not the last one some other ones are some other features there like the next one is some ones can be postponed that means delayed later i'll do that later i'll fulfill it there are some ones like if i want to buy an ac 
then I find that no, now it's not so convenient for me to buy an AC. Let me carry on with the fan. Then I can because this want is not a necessity, so I can postpone it. Some wants can be postponed. Now next one, wants differ in their urgency, in their intensity. All wants are not same. Uh, do not have same intensity or urgency. Some wants are so urgent that I have to fulfill it now. But some other ones can be postponed. That is why it can be postponed. Uh, and the now, now the last one. The last one is wants remain ahead of the availability of the goods and services. Wants are more, and the resources, the means, the goods and services by which we can fulfill our wants are less. That is why we say uh, wants remain ahead. Wants are ahead of the availability of goods and services. That's it. This is all about wants. First, what is human want? What do you mean by wants? Then the classification of wants and then the features of wants. Now I come to the next topic, the next concept in this chapter, which is utility. U-T-I-L-I-T-Y. Utility, this is defined as, utility is defined as the want satisfying power of a commodity. Want satisfying power of a commodity. Like, I bought this pen. I can write with the help of this pen. That means this pen has got the power, the ability to satisfy my want of writing. I want to write. Then this pen has got the power to satisfy my want of writing. Now, if I feel that, yes, I'm deriving benefit, I'm deriving satisfaction from this pen because I can write with the help of this pen. That means, yes, the pen has got that power, that capability, that ability to satisfy my want of writing. And I'm feeling that, yes, I'm deriving, I'm getting utility from this pen. So, utility means want to find power of a commodity. Now, features of utility. Features of utility, again, very interesting. It's, it's really uh, down to the earth. Uh, in our surroundings, we can observe like this. That is why it's very interesting. Very interesting. First one, utility subjective. Utility is subjective. Number one point, utility is subjective. Uh, it means utility is something abstract. Actually, it is a feeling. I am feeling that, yes, I am getting satisfaction. I am getting benefit. That's it. So, utility is subjective. It cannot be seen. It cannot be touched. Uh, it depends on the individual's feeling. Uh, it depends absolutely on the individual. So, utility is subjective. Next one. Utility is not measurable. Utility is not measurable. Long back, many years ago, economists like Adam Smith, Alfred Marshall, they said, according to them, Utility is measurable. Utility can be measured cardinally or numerically with the help of numbers. They said. But then, the modern economists said that no, utility cannot be measured cardinally with the help of numbers. It cannot be. Because it's a matter of feeling. So how can we measure feeling? And nowadays, at present, in the whole world, it is uh, accepted. It is accepted that utility cannot be measured. Next. Utility is relative. Utility is a relative concept. That means it varies from person to person. Really, utility varies from person to person. Like, it may vary from person to person. Let me uh, illustrate it. I like thumbs up very much. I don't like milk. Now, another person, Amazoni, he likes milk tremendously. I know that. He likes milk tremendously. That is why he's so strong. Uh, see, the same thing milk i don't like it so i don't feel utility from it but that man likes milk so much so he derives utility from it so utility varies from person to person is relative next utility is different from usefulness utility is different from usefulness actually usefulness and utility are two different things utility means uh, i am feeling satisfaction I am feeling personally fine. That's it. That is utility. If I am feeling that I am getting satisfaction. But usefulness is something else where it is really useful for the person. Like uh, quinine. Quinine is a medicine used for malaria. It's very bitter. Very. Now, a person who is having that medicine because he is suffering from that disease. Uh, will find it useful, but he may not have the satisfaction. That's like a harmful effects may be there. Like, 
another another example liquor alcohol the alcoholic people they feel that they are getting immense satisfaction from that from alcohol they are addicted to it they get utility from it they think but is it useful no it is harmful for health of those people okay now the next one utility is abstract i have already told you that utility is subjective means it's abstract it cannot be seen it cannot be touched uh, now the last one the last feature of utility is utility has no moral or legal connotations utility has no moral or legal connotations connotation c o w n o t a t i o n s connotations means relation link utility does not have any link with moral values or uh, legal values no moral or legal link like uh, let me give example first uh, moral values moral values let me give an example uh, a person who is absolutely a vegetarian like one of you suppose a marwari person marwari student some of you can be who is absolutely a vegetarian at home at home you are a vegetarian you do not even consume eggs your parents also like that very pious very religious and it's a, it's a crime it's a, it's a offense to have non vegetarian food then you consider that vegetarian should be you should be vegetarian okay once after i see you here after um, uh, your board exams are over you went out with your friends and kfc and in kfc you had uh, chicken items now after having that you felt that that marwari child has felt so good that now he or she feels a ah, great great satisfaction great satisfaction then see suppose the mother comes to know about this and the mother tells him or her this is very bad you should not consume non veg food in our family we follow this it's our religious matter should not this child thinks okay mother is telling and from this year it goes out that means uh, moral values coming coming moral advices but the matter of utility link no link i am feeling satisfaction fine well enough so we say this is moral values now let me uh, speak about uh, legal values also no legal connotation no legal link a person suppose he is a don i remember a film which i have watched a long back now he is a hooligan he is a don and he uses a revolver that is illegal also not licensed now he takes money from people by using that at the time of elections political parties make use of him so he is earning a lot from that now his mother his wife advises him his father also that you are doing wrong you are in an illegal path wrong path what are you doing that this man that don says you are getting money be happy with that i am getting money with this with the help of this i am happy i am getting satisfaction hell with those legal things where i'll be caught i'll see to it see legal values no use because i am feeling that i am getting satisfaction that's enough anyway so these show that utility does not have any link or any connection any connotations with moral or legal values that's it this is everything about utility so this is enough for today's session i'll continue in the next session